Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here. Now let's talk about toothpaste, okay? So I have a bunch of toothpaste here and I get a very common question of, well, what toothpaste is the best toothpaste? What are the bad toothpaste? Which toothpaste should I use? And there's a simple answer, okay? The simple answer is not every toothpaste is made for every one person. So it does depend on your teeth and it does depend on your oral hygiene. So not only your teeth. So you have to pay attention to what's happening inside your mouth. If you get plaque and um, tartar buildup more often than most people, or if you're lucky and you just don't get a lot of buildup. If you have your teeth cleaned every six months, every three months, every two years, that toothpaste will make a difference. So I'm just gonna talk about a couple of them here. So a very common toothpaste is a, a whitening type of toothpaste, okay? So I don't love them because they tend to be more coarse for your enamel and they don't really work like you think they might work. So how they work is they are coarse, so, so they are abrasive where they do take away that layer of stain that might be there. So it doesn't actually change the, sh the shade of your enamel, but it takes away those surface stains that are there from coffee, tea, eating, drinking, anything. But the thing is that they're too coarse usually for your enamel, so it can actually take away some of that enamel over time. But what I tell patients is, to be honest with you, the whitening is a market like the whitening toothpaste is all about marketing because for you if you see a whitening toothpaste and it says that it will whiten your teeth you will probably brush more thoroughly than you ever have before you will probably brush twice a day even three times a day to really get the magic happening right and that's a good thing. We want you to brush well, so that makes us happy. So I don't tell patients not to use it, but I have seen patients where I will see them for the first time, or I will see them three months later, and I'll say, oh, your, your enamel looks thinner. Or if I haven't seen them before, I'll say, you have thinning enamel. Has anybody ever told you that? we have we are talking about whatever um we get to talking and it turns out it could be their toothpaste thinning their enamel so be careful with whitening toothpaste if you really want to use a um a whitening toothpaste once a week twice a week is okay but everybody's different so definitely definitely have your teeth looked at by a dental hygienist we will let you know another common one is Sensodyne. I love Sensodyne. Let's do the English um, version. I love Sensodyne. Sensodyne's amazing for cold sensitive teeth. The key is to get the original Sensodyne, such as this one, or the newest one called Sensodyne Rapid Relief, okay? You don't want Sensodyne plus whitening. Costco sells Sensodyne plus whitening for a great price, but having a whitening agent means it is more coarse. It is more abrasive. So the Sensodyne is there to help to protect the teeth against cold sensitivity, but then the coarseness of the whitening agent takes that protective layer away. So you have a Sensodyne plus whitening that's not, it's not really whitening and it's not really adding that protective layer of the Sensodyne. So if you have cold sensitive teeth and you're wondering why the Sensodyne isn't working, you are using the wrong Sensodyne. So use a different one. Um, I have a whitening toothpaste that actually works and is safe for your teeth. So I love this one, okay? So it is, you know, those, those, those popular um, charcoal, toothpaste. But a charcoal powder is too coarse on your teeth. It's not meant for your teeth. Um, charcoal, by definition, takes away toxins. If you're using a charcoal powder on your teeth, it's actually taking away toxins plus healthy minerals that your teeth need to be protected. But this toothpaste is healthy or, you know, healthier. It does not take away anything good. It just takes away those surface stains plus 
leaving a thin um, protective layer afterwards to help with more stain from not being able to penetrate. So this one I love. You could use it every day, but if your teeth get a little bit cold sensitive, then, then I would suggest using it about three times a week. And the nice thing is, is it, um, it has its own toothbrush. So this one I do love. Um, another one for kids. So if you have a child that might be more cavity prone, so if we have told you they are more cavity prone, they need a different toothpaste. A Colgate Kids toothpaste, Crest Kids, any kids toothpaste, it's okay, but if your child is cavity prone, they need something more, okay? So I love um, this one here, because this contains xylitol, oh, right here, um, xylitol 25%. So if you haven't heard of that before, xylitol actually helps to, um, um, what's the word? Helps to balance your pH in the mouth so that it cannot form a cavity in the first place. Because if the pH in the mouth gets too low from eating anything um, acidic, eating anything sugary, um, even just some, some children have a lower pH in the mouth, unfortunately. That's why it's so important to um, um, brush twice a day to help to bring that pH up to prevent cavities. But children often just need a little bit more help because it's just easier for them to get a cavity because they don't brush perfectly and they don't eat perfectly healthy either, right? I mean, that happens, but they need a different toothpaste. This one is amazing. Perfect for those young kids too, okay? So like two years old, three years old, amazing. It comes in a mint flavor and bubble gum. This one is one of my favorites, okay? So this one does, honestly, you guys, a little bit of everything. Not for kids, but I would say more for adults. It contains, um, it contains uh, the xylitol 10%. And fluoride as well. I could have sworn it had fluoride in it too, but the funny thing is I don't see that it has fluoride in it. So yeah, no, this doesn't have fluoride. I apologize, but this has um, xylitol. So, oh no, so, uh, yeah, okay. So yes, <laughs> xylitol. So xylitol does the same thing as I had just talked about. So this will actually help to neutralize your pH in the mouth to help to prevent cavities. Plus, this also helps, um, um, helps against cold sensitivity. So if we tell you you have thinning enamel, you need a different toothpaste to help to protect those teeth from becoming thinner. Thin enamel means you can get um, cavities easier, so you need something like this. Look for a toothpaste with xylitol in it. Um, to kick it up a notch, sorry guys, I'm just gonna head over to my cupboard here for one second. Okay, so to kick it up a notch, if you are a adult that is cavity prone, this is the best, um, the best toothpaste to use with a mouthwash, okay? So the mouthwash, so this is the one that I like. This, the, this helps, sorry, where's the, where's the English slide here? Ah, here. This helps pretty much anything. This helps your, you know, teeth, oral hygiene, you know, plaque, tartar. If the gums are not healthy, this will help things within about like two weeks. It is amazing. So you, you should be using a toothpaste and a mouthwash, okay? So if you need help, if you have any questions, let me know, because as you guys can see, not one toothpaste is perfect for everybody. Everybody has their um, different needs, depending on their teeth and oral hygiene. So thank you guys so much for listening. Let me know if you need anything, and I will see you guys very, very soon.